You're watching IT Pro TV. Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Cool Features Windows 10. Mike Roderick here with, of course, Mr. Adam Gordon. And we're going to pull out some more of those cool features for you guys today. Adam, what do we got in store for them? So when I went rummaging in the box, I actually came out with two handfuls of new features. I couldn't get them off. They were kind of stuck. So I said, <laughs> all right, we'll do both. We'll put them in a one episode because each one was kind of small, really not in and of itself good enough to stand alone because they were so short. But I thought since they're stuck here anyway, <laughs> to smush them together and make a cool feature sandwich. And that's what we've done. Like we've got it. some additional cool features in the Edge browser. We did a couple episodes here and there on Edge. We focus primarily in Windows 10, but Edge is part of Windows 10 uh, and often gets overlooked. And there are some actually interesting things that go on there. So join me here and let's take a look. We're in our browser. We've opened up the Windows 10 uh, new features, just kind of landing page. And you'll notice I have a couple of other web pages opened up. And you'll notice I can hover. You may or may not be familiar with this feature. I can hover and get a thumbnail preview of each of the tabs. Most browsers do this for you now. This is pretty common behavior. And I can see, but can you really see what's going on there? I think Mike's on one of those video thumbnails yes. somewhere on IT Pro TV and our YouTube channel. It's awfully um, small. But it's hard to see, yes. right? And if I didn't know for a fact that was me in black, <laughs> that second one down, it'd be pretty hard to tell who's there, right? So I could do that, but that's probably not the most effective way unless it's just a real quick thing to find one. Mm -hmm. And I know when I'm working, you know, and, and most of us, especially we're doing shows, uh, I've got a lot of browser tabs right. open. I yeah. walk by the desk sometimes and Mike's got so many, he's actually using Nate's desk to store them all because <laughs> he's got a whole bunch, but it's sometimes hard to keep track, right? Of what It is, open. and not every website is nice enough to change the text that appears on those tabs or their own company information takes up the whole tab. So the meaningful stuff is off the tab. You can't really tell. You what need like an eyedropper. It's, it's just so yeah. small. So while you can do that, so just note if you haven't been familiar with that, you can do that. It's more say not the most effective way. But hiding in plain sight, as often is the case, are some tools that come to our rescue. So let's zoom in up here real quick. There are two things right up at the top right there that are there and most people look at and don't even pay attention to, <laughs> right? Because they're in the corner and you just immediately bypass them. All right. Gonna, I, I don't know if I those. want to admit this, but... I've never seen those before. And never I use those. Edge every day. Okay, so we're going to take a look at those in just a second. By the way, don't be like Mike. <laughs> and in addition, you will see right over here, wherever your last tab is, because we know this real estate kind of slides to the right as you add tabs, right? We do have that plus sign. And you add tabs with that, but that pull down arrow to the right of the plus sign. I'm guessing something else Mike hasn't paid much attention to is also there hiding <laughs> in plain sight. And that's where we're actually going to first take a look at the beginning of new features. And what that does is that allows us to show tab previews. Now, what we would call the thumbnail option like this is a tab preview, but while I can do that, I can also do this. Oh. Now, it's not much better. It's still kind of small and you'd have to zoom in and you still can't see that that's anybody except a black sweater there. That is me in the second box there on YouTube. But you can see a little bit more about some of the ones like Mike was suggesting mm -hmm. that may be good enough to design their page with this in mind. So it's nice to get a better thumbnail view. So that's a beginning point. But let's say I want to take these tabs that I currently have open and let's just put that back up so I can kind of roll that back up. And let's say I want to save them and I want to work with them later and I want to go off and do some other stuff, right? So let's go over here. And one of those two buttons, set these tabs aside, lets me do exactly that. Boom. And you'll notice they're gone. Wow. Right? Now I'm just back on whatever my homepage is, the web browser for, or the news uh, landing page for the web browser. So did I delete them? I didn't delete them. They're there. I didn't get rid of them. I set them aside. Now, what does hmm. that really mean? Well, if you've been paying attention to what's going on up there, You'll notice that the item I just clicked on is now gray, right? So, and the button that was next to it on the left, the very first one that used to look similar to that other one that wasn't black and filled in right. is now black and filled in. Right. And so what that means is that I can go there and I can actually, it just went away, but I can see all the tabs that I set aside because they're actually there. Now, I can pull down that little preview window like I saw and I'll see the preview of the one I'm on, but notice they don't, the ones I set aside don't show up in the preview. I have to actually go get them. And so I can go here and it brings out a nice pane that pops out from the left in this case, instead of from the right. And it shows me the tabs that I've set aside, allowing me 
to interact with one or more of them. It tells me when I did this recently. I can restore the tabs, as you will see. I can delete them. And you'll notice I also have the option to add them to favorites or share them. Maybe I want to send Mike this tab, right? And I want to say, hey, Mike, have you seen this? So I can share that. We've seen sharing pop up in some other contexts and I can use OneNote or Mail or perhaps if there are other apps I wanna use that may be available in the store, I have that capability right here. So I could send this to Mike if I wanted to, right? But if I wanted to just pull one of those tabs up, notice I clicked on one, it removes itself from the, hey, you've set this aside area here. I can just do that to push those back out of the way and it restores it right here and I can see that sure enough, I'm on the tab on the site for our YouTube channel where you're probably watching these videos, right? Uh, and we're there. By the way, 14.7 thousand subscribers. You better be one of those subscribers. If not, you know what you got to do right over there, right? And you can see your videos are there. There's one of our new feature videos for uh, looking at cool shortcuts, things like that. Uh, and you could then just bring that back up. So that's actually kind of nice because it does get in the way of me navigating. It caches them and just puts them off to the side and allows me to pull them back. Yeah, that, that's very handy. I know, uh, like you, you're developing shows, you might have two or three tabs that are related on a particular topic that you're working on. And I've done that where you close one or two of them, and then you got to go through your history, try to find those tabs again. No fun at all. This no. way I can just kind of set all three of them aside together or however many there are uh, and bring them back in mass or mail them off to myself yeah. or whatever somebody mm -hmm. you know you know, so i have them you know those kind of things so yeah i like this a lot i'm gonna give this a, a thumbs up i think this is definitely a, a cool feature yep. not not like you know set the world on fire cool like a maps agree. episode we'll but, give that a but it's definitely sure. a, produ a productivity enhancement feature let's mm -hmm. put it that way. all right so two thumbs up total between the two of us yep. we got a lot of cool new features still left in that box we're always adding more remember we always encourage you to let us know if you have any new features you are passionate about you want us to focus on or you've discovered and maybe don't think we know about and want other people to, we'll put them on the show and we'll give you credit for it if you tell them, tell us who you are and what they are. Stay tuned. we got a lot more coming up. Thank you for watching IT Pro TV.